Well, thank you. Thank you for spelling that out. I wonder if we, we might pivot then towards talking about solutions, which is what, what both of you have been working on. President Nez, you've, you've talked about you know some of the ways that you think you're going to be able to use that money in, in CARES Act and, and looking forward at the infrastructure bill. Um, but give me a little, a few more specific examples of how you think you're going to use that money to give people clean running water. Well, let, let me just go back to the, the previous question. I, I think I, I might have mentioned this at our last uh, Washington Post uh, event that, uh, you know, I, I'm the president of the Navajo Nation growing up in a rural community, Shanto, Arizona. And believe it or not, my family where I live right now in Shanto do not have running water. And, and yet I'm the president of the Navajo Nation. Well, I, I was taught well, though. Well, my parents would always say, you help others before you help uh, your own. And that's what we've been doing. But throughout this pandemic, my sister, my family members have been hauling water 30, 30, 30 miles, so 60 miles round trip to get running water for, for the house and the animals and almost daily. And Emma brought that up too, is that we're encouraging our Navajo system, so our, our Navajo people to stay home throughout this pandemic, but yet we can't. We have to go almost every day and maybe every other day to bring water back to the home. And so you are more prone to catching the virus. And I, I thank God that my family at home uh, did not catch the virus 